And now for the oath of office for our mayor-elect, Daniel J. Rickman, to be administered by the Honorable John Cannon Few, Justice of the Supreme Court of South Carolina. As mayor of the city of Columbia, as mayor of the city of Columbia, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skill, exercise the trust reposed in me, to exercise the trust reposed in me, and I will use my best endeavors, I will use my best endeavors to preserve the peace, to preserve the peace, and carry into effect to carry into effect according to law according to law the purposes for which i have been elected for the purposes of which i have been elected so help me god so help me god and now the constitutional oath i do solemnly swear i do solemnly swear that i am duly qualified that i'm duly qualified according to the constitution of this state according to the constitution of this state to exercise the duties of the office of mayor of the city of columbia to exercise the duties of the office of the mayor of the city of Columbia to which I have been elected to which I have been elected and that I will that I will to the best of my ability to the best of my ability discharge the duties thereof to discharge the duties thereof and preserve protect and defend to preserve protect and defend the constitution of this state the constitution of this great state and of the united states and the united states so help me god so help me god congratulations mayor <laughs> You know what they say in Columbia, well, well, well. Um, first of all, I want to thank Columbia. I want to thank everybody for being here on this cold January day. I want to thank my wife, Dr. Laura Rickenman, my two daughters, Ellie and Carlisle, for all your support that you've given me. And thank you to all of you who have shown up today. You know, when I first moved here, I fell in love with this city. I went to school here, I met my wife here, I raised my family here. We chose to make Columbia our home. Columbia is a great city. All over this capital city, you'll find kind, hardworking people. When I graduated from USC right up the road, I saw all the opportunities this city had to offer. The conditions were right for building and growing a business, and the people of Columbia were inviting and supportive. As an entrepreneur, I could not help but notice the inefficiencies in the way our city operated. The experience I had with government here that had enlightened me to unintentional barriers our systems had created. So I ran for council to make a change. I wanted it to be easier for people to live, work, and raise a family here. Before I was even sworn in, I went to work in every department of our city. I wanted to learn about our departments, their processes, see what could be improved. I had been on a ride along, I had driven a garbage truck, I've been down a manhole, and yes, I have looked over the books in accounting. This showed me that there were opportunities for growth around every corner. It didn't discourage me, but helped me strengthen my sense of pride in our city, in our people, and it gave me hope that Columbia's bright future, just ahead, working together, we can open up our community. Make it a place where opportunities are for every person in every corridor in every neighborhood that can happen. In Columbia, we will have open arms for everyone. We'll be a compassionate city that doesn't help people just get along, but helps every community thrive. We will make sure that our sidewalks and our streets and our schools in every corner of this city are clean and of quality that make residents proud. We will provide a hand up to those in need in our streets so that they can stand up on their own. We'll increase home ownership, create generational wealth so that the future generations get a head start. 
we open up our arms to those in danger, make our streets safe to walk in in every neighborhood at any hour. Columbia will be open for business, folks. We will make it easier to start a business here, invest in our great city and its people. We will work towards reducing taxes and fees that close the gap that, that are between surviving and thriving. It shouldn't take millions of dollars to take advantage of an opportunity in this city. It should only take determination and effort. We will make our city government modernized and streamlined so that our systems and our processes don't delay a chance at opportunity for our citizens. We will work with our great universities and colleges to showcase the talent in our city. Let's make Columbia a place where students, a massive economic engine I might say, want to stay, build a business, and raise a family. We will take advantage of every opportunity to make life better for our citizens. Columbia's government will be open and transparent. We will communicate with our citizens so they have a voice in every action we take. We'll show the people what's working and what's not. We will share information with the citizens so that, that we'll show where we're succeeding and how and where we can improve. We will work with our partners to ensure that tax dollars are spent wisely and efficiently for, for the benefit of all of our citizens. If you live, work, or go to school in Columbia, you're invested in our success. This is a partnership. We want to work with you. We're going into your community, listening to what your priorities are, and see how we can help. Tell us what you like and what you don't like so that we can see how to improve. We are going to do better because we have to do better because the future of our city depends on our shared success. I want to thank all of you for putting your trust in me to be your mayor. You heard our ideas, our goals, and now you've given us a chance to go to work for all of you. I appreciate this trust. I won't let you down. We will thrive together. As this new year begins, we start a new chapter in Columbia, and I can't help but be excited. The sense of opportunity seems brighter than ever. The next four years will be exciting, and I look forward to getting to work. But I can't go without mentioning small businesses that are the backbone of this community because today would have not happened if it wasn't for all those small businesses that came out today. Thank you, we support you, and we're glad you're open. So with that, I declare the city of Columbia is now open. We're open for business. We're open for investments. We're open for ideas. We're open for collaboration. And most of all, we're open arms for all. God bless you all, and thank you.